Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today I'm going to be doing a video for Virgo. And before I get started, I just want to say namaste and blessings to every single one of you. I really appreciate your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, Virgo. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, August 13th to the 20th, 2019. And please continue to protect us and guide us and our families always. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what messages do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, August 13th to the 20th, 2019. Okay. What do we have for Virgo? Okay, thank you. And we got some info here. What do we got? Two, four, six, eight cards. Okay, so I don't care what order they came in. I'm going to piece it together like a story. Okay, so we have the Hanging Man, the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the King of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. Six of Wands and the Five of Cups. Okay, so I'm going to put that there because we have the Four and Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Cup, Cups, Cups. Okay, and then we get a couple of Swords here. Okay. Okay, Virgo, let's see. You are an Earth sign. So you have that earth energy. Okay, so someone's been waiting around with a lot of thoughts in their head. You may be dealing with an air sign person because we have the king of swords here again. General reading, it's not gender specific. So air sign, um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, so Virgo, you may be dealing with an air sign or the characteristics of the air sign which could be somebody that's just uh, very no bullshit and truthful, okay? Maybe a little harsh sometimes, but, you know, that's the way it is. Okay, so you're dealing with an air sign for some of you. So, like I said, you've been waiting, kind of feeling like you're in limbo, or they've been feeling this way due to your actions there's a lot going on in the mind here castles in the air a lot of thoughts okay for some of you we have here the ten of swords this is a devastation and pain mental anguish so the mental anguish that goes here with the seven of cups with the things that you have going on in your mind okay so for some of you something could have happened and you're going over these things in your mind, or you could just be creating this mental anguish by imagining things, making things worse than they are, you know? So here, like with this waiting around, because you're waiting for this person, you may not know what they're doing, and so you're creating scenarios in your mind as to what's going on that's not necessarily happening, okay? Okay, then we have here the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is somebody withdrawn, bored, discontent, okay? Like someone 
was kind of making an offer and it's like, mm, I don't know if I want it, you know? So you to them or them to you, you could be, or they could be towards you like, oh, let's do this, let's do that. And you or them are like, mm, yeah, no, nah, it sounds boring. Or like, we always do that. And I kind of don't want to do that. I don't agree, you know? So that kind of situation. Okay, so you may be, because we have here, after the Four of Cups, you got the Five of Cups. So this is disappointment, regret, frustration. Okay, so I feel you guys are frustrated or they are frustrated with you. Again, whichever way it resonates. So this is causing frustration. This, this attitude that's either being received or given is causing frustration. Okay which is then causing the mental anguish because either you or them are now creating these scenarios in your mind, okay, as to, well, well, why do they feel that way? You know, is it something that I'm doing? Is there somebody else? Well, what's going on, you know? And it could be kind of like, um, for some of you, it, it just, you know, you're waiting around for something to change. You know, you're, you're waiting for it to get better, okay? And in the meantime, you're like mentally torturing yourself. Okay. But there is hope here, okay? I see here with the Page of Pentacles, okay? Pentacles being an earth sign, okay, which is you. So if this air sign is causing this to you, Okay, and you're the one that's making the, the scenarios in your mind, and you're the one that's waiting around for this air sign person. Okay, it could be, now again, this is just a scenario for some of you. It could be that you're the one that's going to reach out and make some kind of offer that they are going to actually acknowledge and accept. You're going to get acknowledged for your, your hard work and, and your efforts, okay? The Six of Wands, you're going to get um, recognized, it's triumph, great news, okay? So you may finally, I don't want to say finally, but you may come out with something totally left field that this person's going to be like, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's let's do that or let's go with that or whatever it may be. Okay, and this, this could also be for work. This isn't just a love relationship. If you're working on a project and you feel like you're always getting shot down and ignored and you're kind of just like waiting around for something to, to give, it's coming. Okay, your your idea is, is going to be recognized. It's going to be great news going to be triumphant and look at all these people here that are also going to be um acknowledging you and and um rewarding you so to speak okay now if this is you because you're the earth sign causing all of that then the air sign is going to finally okay come out with some great news that's going to please you. So it goes either way, okay? And like I said, this could be love, this could be career, however it resonates with you, okay? Okay, let's see, what, what do we have for you, Virgo, from the crystal deck? What messages do we have? For Virgo from the crystal deck, please. What messages do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, messages for Virgo. Thank you. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages from the crystal deck for Virgo? Thank you. Okay. Side note, this just popped into my head. Any of you are Supernatural fans from that show? They just completed, I believe, season 15, or they just, they, well, they filmed it, they're all done with it already, and they have, like, Comic-Con interviews with them that they're all upset and everything. 
me and my family have been watching it for all well, 15 seasons. I mean, we haven't seen uh, season 15 yet, but it just, we got to a point, I think it was season 10 maybe, when they had the Leviathans and stuff where it was like, oh my God, is this going to end? Like, it's getting stupid. And then it got kind of good again. And now that it's done, it's like, oh, boo. I like Sam and Dean. I love Sam and Dean. Okay. So we have Past Life, Lapis Lazuli here. Okay. So uh, those of you dealing with a relationship, you've been together in a past life. Okay. Oh, don't you fall. And we have here Inner Child with Rose Quartz. Okay, I'm going to read that one for you. What's here? Rose Quartz. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Okay. So with Rose Quartz, deepening self-love and acceptance. Yes, absolutely. Because you feel like you're waiting around and you're mentally torturing yourself. You may feel... You're not accepted. You don't have that love for yourself. Opens the heart, bringing unconditional love. Enhances compassion, gentleness, and nurturing of the soul. Brings self-fulfillment and inner peace. Supports those going through divorce and separation. Okay. So for those of you going through divorce and separation, you're going to be supported. Let's see here. So now that that card came up, let's see if we're dealing with a divorce or separation here. Maybe then you're waiting around to see how the divorce is going to go. This could also be an offer of money. Okay, so maybe if you're waiting to see how that's going to go, you're going to have great news of, uh, of the divorce. And what you wanted to get, maybe it's the house, money, um, alimony, child support, okay? So you'll get great news on that. Wait, let me... Oh, that's fine. Okay. This is the next deck. Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have for Virgo? From the Archangel Animal deck. Okay, what messages do we have for Virgo from the Archangel Animal Deck? Okay, let's see if your spirit animals and angels have anything to say. Any messages for you, Virgo? Any messages from the Archangels and the animals? Any messages from the Archangels or the animals? Okay, what messages do we have? Last Shuffle. Any messages from the Archangels and the Animals? Okay, just the one. That's okay. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, and it is Kangaroo. Be a force for good. Archangels Rokiel, Gersisa, and Sandalfon. Please look up these angels. Pause the, the video if you need to uh, write the names down. But these angels have messages for you at this time. So please look them up and see what messages they have for you. I've said in other videos, sometimes there's plenty of cards that I'm using. There's plenty of messages that are coming through. Maybe only one Oracle deck message will come through for you and resonate where the rest won't. So that's not meant for you. Maybe just the messages from these angels will resonate with you. If nothing resonates with you, that's okay. It just means that this video was not for you and there are tons of other readers on here that maybe you will resonate with at this time, okay? And also keep in mind that these videos are timeless. So just because I'm saying August 13th to the 20th, it doesn't mean if you see this in September, this message doesn't apply. It will come to you when it's supposed to, okay? Okay. What messages do we have for Virgo? August 13th through the 20th, 2019. Okay, what messages do we have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, always. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Okay, Virgo. 13th through the 20th. Last shot. 
shuffle. Any other messages for Virgo? 13th to the 20th. two, three, four for you. Okay, so we have find the lesson. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. Okay, so discover the purpose in a situation. So for those of you that might be going through a divorce, what was the point of the divorce? What lesson did you learn from it? If you have children with this person and you know you adore your children and you have a wonderful relationship, then that was the purpose you know, so on and so forth. Just connect the dots in your world of how this will resonate with you, okay? Okay, then we have never jam today. Promises that never came, come to be, empty words, not living in the now. All right, so promises that never come to be. So maybe with you waiting around, you know, this person could have kept promising to do things with you or whatever the case may be and they're just empty words you know and you felt like you weren't living in the now that you're just waiting around missing out on life okay and then we have changed in the night you have changed quickly so due to whatever it is that's going on it's changed you and people may have noticed that you just changed overnight. Uh, you know, it, being in a bad relationship changes anyone, so that goes without saying. The right way, le learning to create what you desire. So there's a right way to do things also. Okay, and you do have to create what you desire. So if you're not happy, then you have to move on and change your life that's as simple as that okay so that's all i have for you virgo peace and love thank you for the likes the shares and the subscribes and i will see you in the next video